Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a skincare, like nighttime routine type of video. And I will go through all of the things that I use for my skincare routine at night when I'm being a good girl. Before anything else, hi, my name is Sahar. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see next or what you'd like to see in general. I recently started a Get Ready With Me mystery story time series on my channel and I'll be linking it up here or down below as well if you'd like to check that out. First things first, let's remove our lashes. These are the Impress by Kiss. I love these lashes. The concept is just, it's so easy to put on. You literally just put it on like this and then you just remove it. It's just so convenient. I don't like lash glue. I did do the lash extensions. I'll just remove my earrings and my hardware, my hardware, my jewelry. I also tried doing the lash perm. I really enjoyed the lash perm. Lash perms are really nice because you don't have any false lashes on you, but at the same time, your lashes look extra long and extra curled and there's just minimum maintenance required. Also lash perms versus like lash extensions they last like about two months or three months at least for me anyway while the lash extensions last two weeks max especially if I have oily eyelids which I do unfortunately by the end of the second week they're like falling off and your eyes start looking funky it's also so expensive to get them filled as well so I'm getting the physicians formula the perfect matcha this is a cleansing balm and to be honest it's not my favorite I got this because of a suggestion from Taylor Wynn I am all for the take the day off cleanser balm by Clinique. I have the balm and the thing that you shake the liquid and I prefer the balm hands down. It's the balm for me but it's just so expensive so I'm looking for alternatives to that to see if I can find something cheaper. I thought this would be it because Taylor Wynn really liked it but it's not for me. I feel like it's good for the face makeup, but for the eye makeup, it's not that effective. It doesn't really sting too much, but it does sting a little bit. This is the e.l.f. The Good Vibes Only collection. It's very much a dupe to that. Was that the Halo something by Chloe Morello? I had one of those, and they're kind of expensive. This one was really cheap. I mean, it's e.l.f. I do like it to remove the cleansing balm. I don't usually use this for anything else except to remove cleansing balm because honestly, I don't think you do need it. Unless your cleansing balm is a little bit more on the oily side where you can't just wash it off with water. In that case, these will really help. And I have to be very careful with the eye area as well. I mean, you can tell I do tug and pull a little bit. Just trying to remove as much makeup as I can without really pulling too much the eye area. I'm planning to do like a get unready with me wind down wind down series but i don't actually know what to talk about so i'm still trying to figure that out okay so most of our makeup has transferred on the mitt now we can go on with cleanser so i actually like to double cleanse i just think that it's the most effective for my skin type personally i do have an oily t-zone and dry cheeks so that would be a combination skin but i'm also prone to acne breakouts which you can see i do have some because yesterday and the day before i didn't do my skincare i'm sorry so the cleansers that I like to use are very, very affordable. I don't go for the expensive cleansers. This is the SA CeraVe cleanser, and I also like the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. I'm in the market for a non-foaming cleanser that I actually really like. So I'm going to start with the CeraVe, and I'm just going to cleanse my skin just to remove the remnants of that balm and any extra makeup that is stubborn and doesn't want to get off my skin and wants to create acne for me. I don't have any of those like Foreo or remember Clarisonic when it was a thing? I really want to try the Foreo Bear as well but those are kind of out of my price range at the moment but I'm getting better at my skincare so hopefully I save up and I'll be able to purchase one of those LED lights as well. So I just rinsed my face. The next cleanser I'll be going with is the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. I mean I don't exactly love this cleanser but it's not unpleasant. I do prefer this over their other cleanser that was not foaming. But I am in the market for a non-foaming cleanser as my second cleanse. Now, you might think this is a third cleanse technically because my balm was the first 
cleanse but to be honest i don't consider my cleansing balm as a first cleanse because in my opinion all it does is remove my makeup but it still leaves a lot of the gunk on my face so i'm not really cleansing my skin if you know what i mean but i mean to each his own i know some people are really hardcore on skincare but as you can see i'm trying to be very gentle with my skin so let me just wash this off and i'll be right back so at this point i'm gonna put my eye serum which is basically just a retinol the one i'm using right now is the olay eyes pro retinol eye treatment but Again, you can use any retinol treatment. I've used the ROC one, which I also like. And I have the Neutrogena Anti-Wrinkle Eye Serum as well because I'm almost out of the Olay one. I really want to spend a lot on the eye serums because I think that it's one of the most important areas in your face that you should look after. But it's really hard to find a serum that's not in the drugstore that costs less than $100. At Sephora, they're always so expensive. And I think these are okay. I think they do the job. I do this morning and night. As long as I keep my under eye hydrated, I think I'll be okay. Next, I usually go in with my Paula's Choice BHA HA liquid thing. I usually do that. Then I go in with my niacinamide and then my retinol. But today, since I ran out of the BHA HA tonic, I'll be using my retinol. And this is the Ordinary Retinol 1% in Squalene. I really like Squalene because I did do some research on it and it really does help your pores really absorb absorb whatever is mixed into it and that's why retinol is gonna be good. I did try the Inky List retinol but it just made me feel a little weird because I didn't know what percentage it was. There was just no data that made me feel comfortable to keep buying it. And to be honest, I don't enjoy oils on my skin. I feel like my skin does not like oils. I've tried many oils before but this one is fine. I'm still looking for a retinol that I absolutely love and I really want to try Indeed Labs and a bunch of others that I don't even remember the name of. So once the retinol is incorporated into my face, whatever is extra on my hands, I like to rub on my neck as well because you can't forget your neck. You need to also make sure that you're treating your neck the same way as your face. So next I like to moisturize and for today I'll be using Vici Aqualia Thermal. This is a very nice moisturizer. I just feel like this is so light and soothing and especially with somebody who has like an oily t-zone if you have oily skin i think gel moisturizers would be better for you and i don't know if this is a gel but yeah it says a gel cream because i was thinking this is like a hybrid between cream and a gel and it says right here gel cream i was right Finally, I do a lip treatment. So I usually use my Laneige treatment, but I just bought this Drobux Lip Therapy. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it is very soothing to my skin, to my lips. I do love oils on my lips and I love my lips looking shiny. And finally, I do put a nail oil. I actually have my own nail oil, but I recently got a sample of the Clarins Hand and Nail Treatment Balm. And so I've been trying this out to see if I like it. And and so far so good it feels like a normal moisturizer so my last step will actually be teeth whitening and now I don't do this every single day of the year but I am doing the emulsions by crest I have been doing this for five days now I don't know if I see a like a difference yet I feel like I see a little bit of a difference but I'm not sure so it's either this or the crest whitening strips but I wanted to try this first if this doesn't work I will be trying the crest whitening strips I will have a video of this coming up so don't forget to ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload that video and yeah there you have it this is my general skincare routine now this does change every so often I don't stick with the same skin care routine forever and ever and ever just because I like to try new things and I like to treat myself sometimes that is the end of my skincare routine at night there you have it everybody I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way if you like my content don't forget to like the video subscribe down below and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload I am a small content creator and I really appreciate your support with me growing here on this platform thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!